Hey humanity, uh, this is the second of the uh, five recipes that I really and truly want to bring to you today. I really uh, hope you uh, feel uh, uh, as I do the uh, the desire to never have to go back to the uh, the awful cravings. Uh, remember uh, when I told you, uh, and I can't tell you enough, and I can't remind myself enough of what it was like for me uh, being uh, upstairs in that um, in that reclining for 17, uh, uh, 18 hours in a day. And, you know, that can be, uh, you know, you can, you, you can hear that and, uh, it just go right over your head. If you've not had, uh, uh, similar, uh, or even, uh, just uncomfortable and undesirable challenges with food and cravings. As I told you, I was eating the equivalent of four individuals in a day and I was still hungry. And, uh, I would eat, uh, I would consume a box of, uh, donuts and a uh, bag of cookies and candy treats and what have you and I was still craving sugar I mean cravings uh, uh, for food and sugar and not being able to uh, get satiety uh, if you've not had those challenges you'd never understand uh, how uh, how awful that can be and watching people uh, you know eat a uh, reasonable portion and uh, you know they're stuffed and uh, you know it's uh, and just uh, healthy and wholesome living, uh, watching others, and you uh, just uh, feeling like uh, and getting to a point uh, to where it's not only um, accepted, but uh, just feeling as if it's a way of life, that uh, there's just no uh, turning back from it. And, uh, you know, being in such a state that uh, you uh, you can't find the words to explain to someone else what it's like uh, to consume so much food. And, uh, you know, you're not full. Others, uh, they get their satiety, they eat their food and, uh, you know, reasonable portions. And uh, they are, uh, they're full, they're, they're full and they satisfied but anyway um, uh, humanity with that being said uh, the variety uh, you know we want to keep that because we never want to go back if we ever get on the other side of uh, those cravings and uh, not eat, eating quite as much uh, remember uh, I told you I have my reckless days I'd rather uh, if I have a taste for something I'd rather eat it and get it out of the way as opposed to going back to a lifestyle and uh, you know taking the uh, you know, uh, the uh, different uh, eating as a trend or a fad, but uh, I want it to be a way of life. I don't never want to go back to uh, eating and consuming food like that. And I literally felt like I couldn't help myself. Well, then, well, anyway, my hand is starting to shake again, uh, humanity. Uh, so what I did with those folders, uh, humanity, I uh, tried to get uh, even variety in that. Um, you know, I didn't realize that uh, beans have so much fiber. And can you believe it? I think uh, uh, I think they have um, calcium or a B12, one of those. Uh, don't quote me on that, but uh, they definitely have a lot of fiber. And uh, I'll uh, get you more on the nutritional uh, components on it, but uh, they're healthy, the beans and the nuts. But uh, you shouldn't try anything without uh, consulting your uh, physician, uh, humanity. But uh, at the end of the day, uh, the beans and uh, uh, walnuts and what have you, they can really, really, really be um, nutritional. Uh, but uh, uh, as I said, it gives uh, gives variety to your uh, dishes, those of us that are uh, new to this lifestyle journey. So what I did was I did the same thing. I used those uh, plant-based egg roll wrappers and as opposed to rolling them, uh, egg roll wrappers, I just folded them. You know, you cover, uh, cover the circumference with an egg wash. Uh, as I I said uh, in the earlier post and then I boiled uh boiled uh, uh, a cup of uh, red beans. I put in one bouillon cube, uh, one half teaspoon of black pepper, garlic powder, one tablespoon onion powder, one tablespoon. And I let that boil until they were soft. Uh, for me, it took uh, two, maybe two and a half hours for you. You may be able to get it done a little bit faster. Some people have, uh, uh, what do they call them, pressure cookers or something like that. But uh, however you do it, uh, your beans should be soft. So I added uh, one uh, tablespoon of, uh, of uh, the red beans and uh, one tablespoon of spinach um, along with uh, 
uh, half a teaspoon of pepper, uh, uh, pepper jack cheese, and that's optional. I just did that for extra flavor, but uh, if you're new uh, to the lifestyle, uh, you know, maybe you don't want to uh, go with the uh, cheese, or if you do, get a plant-based cheese. And remember, all of the uh, dishes are uh, meat-friendly. But with that being said, you man, I just did the same thing. I folded it over after I uh, covered it with the egg wash on the whole circumference of the square. I uh, fried it for maybe about uh, two minutes and uh, took it out. And they were really, really delicious, uh, uh, humanity. Because remember, the egg roll wrappers, they're uh, plant-based. And then you're filling them with the red beans and the spinach. And the spinach this time was raw because I thawed it out. And uh, so with that being said, uh, humanity, I uh, wanted to uh, finish uh, 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 just uh, uh, acknowledging uh, humanity that uh, the days can be long with hurt, pain, and sorrow. And uh, just, uh, you know, just not a fulfillment or just lack or uh, delays or what have you. Uh, you know, you and your brothers and sisters, uh, uh, we're, uh, we're all doing life. We're doing all doing life under one address, but we're also... Uh, uh, doing uh, life uh, in uh, one body, you know, we don't get a chance to get extra bodies. And so that mind, body, and soul of yours that uh, is so awesomely uh, carrying you through and allowing you to see another day. And though uh, uh, your uh, judgment may be clouded with distress,